Hello everyone, Cal Unit Productions here. I have recently decided to try out another new video format for obscure locomotives. This new series called Bite Size Oddities will cover obscure locomotives that have limited information within a 2-3 minute time frame. Seeing as there are many oddities to talk about, I am hoping this will bring out more videos talking about these forgotten and sometimes obscure and unique locomotives. With that out of the way, let's jump right into our first episode, shall we? In the 1980s, the Union Pacific was experimenting with solving the problem with toilets on board locomotives. Seeing as the toilets were located in the low nose, crews would have to deal with the smell of urine or shit every time the toilet was used. A solution was to install a porch potty on the rear of one of their standard cab units in an attempt to keep the cab clean and fresh. This experiment would result in one of their newer SC40s being fitted with this porch potty. That being SC40-2, number 3794. 3794 was originally built in November 1980 as one of the multiple new SC40-2s that UP was ordering. Nothing really special about it, but given that this locomotive was selected, this would result in a small extension of the hood to fit the porch potty. Unfortunately, this would not be a success. Aside from its unusual placement making it look like the locomotive had a swollen bum, it proved unpopular with the crew due to the unnecessary hassle of walking back and forth out of the cab just to go to the toilet. I mean, could you imagine using the porch potty in a blizzard? Yeah, no thanks. It's safe to say the experiment didn't last, and 3794 returned to service with the toilet relocated back to the cab. The unit continues to serve with UP, reclassified as an SC40N, and renumbered to 1871, where she manages lighter freight trains or switching jobs in the western United States. Unfortunately to this day, the toilet problem was never solved for standard cabs, as an attempt to fix the solution never materialized again. Can't say I blame them really. 